merciful. Because God is holy, he cannot allow sin into his presence. Because God is just, he judges sin. And because God is merciful, he created a plan to save us from sin. If we repent. What is repentance, you ask? Well, repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. In today's Bible story, we are going to learn that all people should respond to God with a repentant heart. Well, I'll see you after worship. All right, my friends, get up from your seats and join us as we sing and get up and dance for Jesus. Woo! All right, if you guys are ready, then let's sing it out. Come on.
great job, friends. Now let's sing all together. judgment when the people of Judah turned away from God and to and turned to worship idols but they also gave a message of hope can you say hope well God promised to save his people when they repented from their sin and lived by faith in the coming Savior and at the perfect time God would send his son Jesus to save us from our sin so that we can live with God forever. Isn't that awesome? Well, today's passage in Matthew 3, John the Baptist prepares the people for the arrival of Jesus through a message of repentance. Remember, repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. Around the time Jesus came into the world, a baby named John was born. And John was Jesus' cousin. And when John grew up, he lived in the wilderness, like out back. He ate locusts and wild honey. Ooh, I don't know about you, but growing up, I had like goldfish, pretzels, yogurt, hot Cheetos, juice boxes, like Capri Sun. Mm. But let me tell you, John wore clothes made out of cow's hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. John brought a message to the people in Judea. Curious to know what it is? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you anyways. He said, repent, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Repent! People from Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the area of Jordan were going to John, coming to John, and they would confess their sins, and he would baptize them as a sign of repentance that they have been forgiven in the Jordan River. And one day, John looked up and saw religious leaders coming toward him, and these were like um, the Pharisees. And he spoke up, he said, you brood of vipers who warned you that God's wrath is coming. Show that you really do want to turn from your sins. Being part of Abraham's family, ah, 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 will not save you. You see, these religious leaders, they seemed all holy and good on the outer side, but that wasn't the case. They had a heart problem that was, uh, uh, uh. John explained that he baptized with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after him, Jesus, is more powerful, and that John was not even worthy to remove Jesus' sandals, and that Jesus was going to baptize with the Holy Spirit of fire! Are you ready? <laughs> well, God gave John the Baptist an important 
important message. And John told everyone that Jesus, the one Isaiah and Zephaniah had foretold, was finally coming. And like Isaiah and Zephaniah, John warned the people to repent from their sin and turn back to God. Can you think of anyone that does not need to repent? Someone without sin? Anyone that comes to mind? Well, absolutely not. There should be zero, no one, because we all sin. Whether it's outwardly or inwardly in our thoughts, we all sin. And it's only Jesus who lived a perfect life of obedience, a perfect life without sin. The Pharisees and the Sadducees thought they would not be judged for their sin. Ooh, they thought wrong. The Pharisees and the Sadducees really looked good on the outside, but let me tell you, God doesn't just look in the outside, he looks mainly inside. And you see these religious leaders, they were their job was to teach the Jews about God's law, but they went like ballistics and they even made extra rules for people to follow. However, God wanted those religious leaders to repent of their sin and love God with all their hearts. And John explained that they would act differently when they truly repented because when you repent and turn away from sin, you don't want to continue living a sinful life. You see, girls and boys, only Jesus is able to save us from our sin. Not you, not me, only Jesus. He gives us the Holy Spirit when we repent and turn to him in faith. John baptized people with water to symbolize repentance, but Jesus will give people the Holy Spirit when they repent of their sin and turn to him in belief. Once again, in faith. Jesus, he also holds the power to judge sin. If you think about it, John had an important job in teaching God's people to repent. However, God gave Jesus the bigger job of judging sin and only someone who is holy and just Jesus could judge sin so don't forget John called people to repent and when you and I realize that our sin deserves God's punishment and trust in Jesus to save us we you and I can turn from our sins and live for Jesus Jesus changes our hearts so that we can love God and love people. I want a repentant heart. Do you? If we love God, we would want our hearts to honor him as well. Our thoughts, our serving, everything. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for teaching us how to repent. Lord, if there are things in our hearts, in our mind, in our lips that we need to repent, Lord, will you show it to us so that we can say that we are sorry and we can turn away from our sin. Thank you for loving each and one of us so much that you sent Jesus to save us from our sin. Help us to remember that a truly repentant heart desires to live for your glory and yours alone. We love you and it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen.